So let's go ahead and start to execute it, right? The first part, this should get pretty familiar. We're going to import the Rhino script syntax as RS. And again, RS is just a shortcut so that we can use the methods without typing that whole long word. All right. And then the next step is we want to loop through U. So we need to um, first, let's just create our simple for loop using I, so for I in range between 0 and how should we define the name of this variable? We haven't done anything in the grasshopper, at the level of the grasshopper object yet here. So we can define whatever this is going to, whatever we want this to be here, and we'll then uh, reassign the name uh, in grasshopper. So let's call this uh, something that, again, makes sense, like num u, how many times we want to move through the u, right? And then end that line with a colon. All right, so now we're inside the i loop, and let's create our second loop. So for j in range 0 to num v. All right, that's going to be the name of what we call moving through v. All right, so now we have to create a point on the surface. All right, so... Uh, all this stuff looks pretty good, but now we're going to have to figure out how we create points on surfaces. So if we go to the Help menu, let's browse through hierarchically in the Contents window. If we go to Rhino Script Package, uh, Surface, look through these options here, you might come across Evaluate Surface. So this allows us to specify a UV parameter, and then it will return the 3D point, so the point in XYZ space. That's great. That's exactly what we want to do. And again, um, you could do the divide surface object here in uh, Grasshopper. You might have also, if you've worked a lot with surfaces and surface points, used the evaluate surface object. So that same name is echoed here in the, um, actually both of those echo the names of the Rhino commands. Uh, so evaluate surface, that's what we want. And it says that we need to um, supply the surface and then U and V. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and grab this line here. Copy, hit OK. And let's paste this into our script. All right, now make sure that mine came in with an extra space, so I want to make sure that it's aligned here to the darker orange uh, dot, which denotes the tab level. All right, so I'm two, two levels in. That's eight spaces. All right, so uh, we were using the name my point for our variable to store the point. So this is RS, evaluate surface, the object ID, and then U and V. Right now, the object ID is whatever this surface is, right? So the surface to evaluate and then the U and V parameter. Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to define the object ID here as um, the surface, and we can define however that variable should be um, labeled. So let's say surf, SRF. And then U and V are going to be uh, defined as parameter space, right? So if we take and use I and J, that will get us close to achieving a um, kind of expected result. But we're going to do a slight modification. We're going to say I divided by the number in U that we want, and V is going to be J divided by the number in V. What that allows us to do is, as we move to, let's say, 10, 0 to 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, if we divide it by 10 each time, in the end, we're going to result in values between 0 and 1 for u and v. And that's going to be uh, a way for us to easily define the uv coordinates for our surface. Okay, 
So U and V are defined there. The last thing is that we just need to append the point to our list for output. So A dot append my point. Close parentheses. Right? And that's all that we have to define in this case, right? If we hit OK, we're going to get errors. Because what did we say about these variables, num u, num v, and surf? They have to be coordinated here with our inputs. Right? So let's zoom in. And we need one more um, input. And this is going to be x. It's going to be defined as our surface, SRF. Y is going to be defined as num u. Z is going to be defined as num v. And we left A as is. And one more step before we can actually start to supply this. What do we have to do with our inputs besides give them specific names? We have to define what kind of input it is, right? So if we right-click our inputs, our first type hint for surf, that's going to be surface. Num u should be integers. Num v should be also integers. All right, now we can start to supply our inputs. Put in our surface. And we need a slider, so we'll do a shortcut to get a, an integer slider. So double click. I want between uh, one point less than 20, less than 40. So that will define a slider that is between 1 and 40 with a current value of 20 and it will end up being integers, right? So this was num u as our label. Copy and paste that to get num v. And now we can supply this to u and v. And we get some kind of preview. Now, we said that our, we were going to assume that our space to move through was between 0 and 1 in the u and v, right? So we have to do one more thing to coordinate the space of our surface with the numerical space that we defined inside of our uh, ghpython object, right? So um, if anyone has a suggestion of what that is, um, go ahead and drop it into the uh, question window. While you're doing that, I'm going to give you a hint. All right, you guys are already answering the question before I even finish. We have to make sure that our UV space is set to values between 0 and 1. So we can right-click this input here and say reparameterize. And now it will uh, move, it will define U and V as 0 to 1 for both. And now our uh, little expression I over num U and J over num V will work. And now we can create multiple points that are distributed across the surface. Now, does anyone have a suggestion as to why we're not getting any points along the edge? Has to do with one little thing that we have inside of our Python script. We said that the range method goes from zero to num u, but does not include it. So if you want the last edge, of points, the last row and the last column, we need to add one to num u and num v inside the ranges so that it includes that last set. So if I hit test, there they are. All right. <clears throat> okay. So now our object essentially does the divide surface operation inside of Grasshopper but we've done it all inside of our Python script. Um, the last thing we want to do is I want to say this before I get too far uh, ahead. My working file is let's take a look at the output, right? If I have a panel that I connect to A, right? These are all my points and they're in the list format that we saw in the PowerPoint slide, right? I've got a lot because I've got lots of points, right? We see lots of points here. But how are they organized? One long list. To emphasize that, let's go ahead and go to the vector tab and choose the point point list option. 
so that we can see how these points are organized. Turn the preview off here so we can just see the numbers. We now have points that are organized in columns. 0 to 12, which is how many I'm defining here. That's 13 points, 0 to 12. Then it moves to the next column, then to the next column, then to the next column. So we're getting one long list of points. And that makes sense because we're using A as a list. All right? Now, um, if all we wanted to do is create discrete points on a surface, we're done. Uh, we're in a good spot. But um, sometimes you actually want to, let's say, draw a curve through each one of these columns. And that's um, where we actually need to be a little bit more specific with what we give as an output to A. Okay, so um, to recap here, we're using two counters, but we're evaluating uh, our surface for in, within the surface space that's reparameterized between 0 and 1. We're evaluating to find points, and we're uh, storing them inside of a list, which right now is called A. Okay, so if there are any, if there are any questions, let's go ahead and address them uh, very quickly now because we're going to take this script and uh, keep developing it so that we can move on to the next exercise um, and build upon what we've just, uh, we've just programmed. All right, it looks like everyone's ready to rock and roll for the next exercise, so let's go for it.